Hunting bug records. Once the metadata sheet has been filled in, see the model structure video, how do you fill in the hunting data? The first section contains the identification columns. These first two columns do not need to be filled in, but the following variable, data level, is mandatory. So, you have to select what kind of data you have, whether your data came from monitoring, an event, or an observation. The category monitoring refers, for example, to whether you are going to enter the number of animals hunted during a hunting season. The event may refer to the number of animals hunted on a single day, and the observations record the data of a specific animal. At what level are you going to enter the data? Wherever possible, try to enter the data as accurately as possible. The person who records this information should be indicated here by inserting the name of the data provider, the original database code, who is a data provider, Jim Lai, the locality. For this type of location, please note that this data is mandatory. Here, you are required to indicate if they are coordinates, polygons, grids, or if they are administrative units. In this case, we are going to use coordinates. The following variable is compulsory but conditional. This means that since we have selected the co coordinates option in the previous variable, then it is mandatory to fill it in. In this case, our data will be estimated. This means that we do not have the precise data regarding where the animal was hunted, and we only know that it was hunted approximately in this region, e.g. within a hunting ground, with a given error. Here, we will indicate that this error is between 100 metres and 1 kilometre. This is, therefore, the precision to which these coordinates correspond. We do not, in principle, have to enter the shapefile ID because, although the instructions indicate that it is mandatory, it is only mandatory when the location type is a polygon. It can, therefore, be left empty. The same thing occurs with the WKT polygon, or with the grid, as we do not refer to a specific grid. We do have to indicate, and in this case it is mandatory, the reference system we are using to enter the geographic standard. Here we can enter WGS84, which is the most appropriate format for the project. For the variable country, we enter Italy. Once we have selected Italy, we can select the region or province in which our record is located. What type of area is it? This field is also mandatory, and we have different options. The administrative unit, a hunting reserve, a management unit such as a natural park, an area of a research study. In this case, we select hunting ground. If, for some reason, there is a problem with the drop-down menus, we can always go to the data value sheet and select it directly from there. If you have any doubts about term concepts, you have the different options where you can find for each a drop-down menu with our definitions. The size of the study area is not mandatory, but it's better if you can include it. In this case, it's 500 hectares. Here, we are allowed to include other information that we may or may not have such as whether there is supplementary feeding, whether there are pigs in that region, whether those pigs are grazing free. There is no quota limitation. If it is limited, you cannot hunt as many wild boars as you want, but only a restricted number per day, hunter or season. The time scale of the data we are going to incorporate corresponds to the day. So we indicate the date when this occurred. 
on the 1st of the second month, 2014. If it were a time interval, we would have to fill in these fields. We also fill in the data time, which is the date that we have registered, the 9th of the 3rd, 2014. In the measurement section, we indicate the number of animals hunted, 14 were hunted, three females, four males, six juveniles, one unidentified. We should indicate if the females were inspected to see whether or not they were pregnant and indicate how this was done, whether they were selected using a random method and whether all the hunts were analysed. Four, two, nine, twenty. If there is no information on the reproductive status, it doesn't matter because this is not mandatory. For the hunting method, this information is mandatory. And in this case, we indicate that a drive hunt with dogs was carried out. Another option is also available if you don't know which mode is used. Here, you will find information about how many hunters there were, 30 hunters, number of people beating, number of dogs, 12. Hunting area, allowing us to know that there were 180 hectares, number of days hunted, in this case it was only one. So, we almost have this row filled in. If the data we have are similar for the other records, we could copy all this data into the following rows and only modify those that we know will vary. For example, the coordinates. These data are the same, so we could drag them. As the geographical data are different for each case, we should change them. And if it is the same box and contains the same information, we can copy it. The data could be same for year and month, but we'd have to change the day. These data are the only ones we would have to fill in or paste from an external database. Because the rest of the data will, more or less, be similar, we only incorporate the data that can be organised with an external database, which allows us to copy and paste them quickly.